All right, let's see where we left off. Okay. Oh, do I have sound? I do have sound, okay. Calculus. Um, yeah, I'll pay these ones here. I might as well go to the answers. So this is up to 294. Okay. Right, so let's see what we have here. For the following exercises, use the given values to find the, the this here. So um, basically F inverse derivative at a is d x dy where x is a function of y so this would be evaluated at y equal to a or in other words the x dy um, and it's evaluated um, when y equals a or when y equals f of some number. I don't know, let's call it x0, uh, where this is equal to, to a, where a is equal to f of x0. So like in the first one, 289, um the answer would be the x dy um oh and of course sorry and that would equal one over dy dx evaluate it at x zero so in 289 the answer would be one over the derivative um, but hmm yeah minus one hmm. this is all this it's just in each case, it's just going to be one over this here, isn't it? Like in two ninety, it'll be one over one over three, which will be three. In two ninety one, it'll be one over two. Yeah, okay. Two ninety two, it'll be three over two, and two ninety three. It'll be one over ten. Yeah. And two ninety four it'll be minus one over two. Weird. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Cool. I ain't complaining. Some tech questions now. Right. Tech time. Loading. Uh, 
All right. The position function is defined as arctan and inverse t. Find the velocity. Okay, well, that's just the derivative. There you go. Find the acceleration. Right, that's the derivative again. Oh, and then calculate for 2, 4, and 6. Four in. 2, 4, uh, 6. And then the acceleration here. 2, 4, and uh, 6. Ah. So positive velocity and negative acceleration. So it's heading right, but the speed is decreasing. It's slowing down. Um, yeah slowing down I'm going to guess that it's trying to reach like a constant speed I'm not sure okay well actually the answer is at the back I suppose The hockey puck is slowing down. Yep, there we go. <laughs> no need to overcomplicate things. All right, 296. A building that is 225 feet tall casts a shadow of various lengths x as the day goes by. An angle of elevation theta is formed by the lines on the top to the bottom. Uh, find the rate of change of the angle of elevation d theta dx when x is 272 feet. Okay, so theta, theta, um, x. So that would be uh, 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 tan inverse. Theta is tan inverse 225 over x. So if we differentiate this and sub in 272, we've got our answer. There we go. Yep, there we go. All right, 297 now. Um, A pole stands 75 feet tall and angle theta is formed the wire when using length x. Find the rate of change of the angle when a wire is 90, when x is 90. Okay, so again this time, but this is defined as um, arc sine 75 over x. So we want the derivative when x is 90. So uh, that's that. So let's check the answer. Yep. That's what I got, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Super. Right. Next one. television camera at ground level is 2,000 feet away from the launching pad of a space rocket. Okay, theta is defined as tan inverse x over 2,000. Find the rate of change of the angle elevation when the camera is 5,000 feet apart. So we just 
you just have to be careful because that 5,000 is the hypotenuse. A teleporting camera at ground level is 2,000 feet away from the launch pad of a space rocket that's set to take off vertically as seen in the bottom figure. The angle of elevation of the, of the camera can be found by a formula or X is the height of the rocket. Find the rate of change of the angle of elevation after the launch when the camera and the rocket are 5,000 feet apart. Okay. So we have to differentiate. But we have to also solve by Pythagoras, 2,000 squared plus x squared equals 5,000 squared. And then we just want the positive answer. So we'll just sub in the answer on line 7. And that's what we get. Okay, and finally, a local movie theater with a 30 foot high screen that is 10 feet above a person's eye level when seated has a few and angle as follows. Okay, theta of x is defined as, oh no, do I have photon inverse? Let's find out. I do. Cot inverse x over 40 minus cot inverse x over 10. Okay. Did some calculations here. Derivative. And then sub in for 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Interpret the results in B. Well, uh, when X is, so they're, they're decreasing. So the view and angle becomes zero when you're 20, when you're 20, What's the unit feet, is it? So when you're 20 feet away, the theta becomes zero. You can't see the screen. I can't picture that. Oh, no, what am I saying? When, it's not the theta, it's the rate of change is zero. So I think you could interpret that as the view and angle will be least sensitive to change. Um, that it must be some kind of optimum position. I wonder how they express the answer at the back. No, that's not an interesting answer. That's just saying that the, ah, that's boring. That's a boring answer. Well, there you go, the optimal, the optimal is 20. That's what I said. So why is C and E different? Okay, so they just want you to put more values in. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Sub 25. Yeah, okay. Well, this is not surprising. Sub, sub 30. Sub 35. Sub 40. Interpret the results in D. Yeah, so, uh, um, 
maximum, or in other words, the optimum view and angle is at 20. Um, the viewing angle is increasing, let's say positive rate of change until 20 and then decreasing afterwards. That is why it is a maximum and why it is an optimum for the viewer. Okay. Good. That's two that's an exercise down. 299 done. Hopefully no mistakes. Thanks for watching. Good place to wrap it up there. Any questions or comments, please let me know and I shall see you all next time.